Nine days after the Westgate attack that left 67 people dead, among them six security officers, it was time to remember all those affected through national prayers convened by religious leaders. Most gracious are those who walk on this earth in humility. And when we address them, we say, peace. And with pressure mounting from all quarters that the country's security system be overhauled, President Uru Kenyatta says he will soon set up a commission of inquiry to probe if there were any lapses in the country's security system before the attack. As much as I thank everybody for the contributions they have made during that difficult time, we will also be putting in place a commission of inquiry to establish if we could have done things better going forward, to see where there were lapses and to see how we can strengthen those lapses. There have been unconfirmed reports that the National Intelligence Service notified the country's top security brass about the Westgate attack who allegedly failed to act. But amid the pressure, President Uru says every Kenyan must play a meaningful role in ensuring the country's security. But whereas security is the principal role of any government, and we accept that responsibility as a government. Let us also be clear that security is also the responsibility of every single individual citizen. As we have been told today, we must be our own brother's keeper. This even as former Prime Minister Raila Odinga called on the government to take seriously intelligence reports if Kenyans are to be assured of their security. Let this tragedy make us change and change for the better. We have to change the way we gather intelligence information and the speed with which we act on the information gathered. Intelligent information not acted on certainly serves no purpose and is a waste of taxpayers' money instead. Raila warned the country's security system to be on high alert, saying al Shabaab threats were real. We have to change the way we secure our borders, not just our borders with Somalia, but with all our neighbors. Business as usual will not do. This attack must lead to change in how we issue our country's identification and travel documents, like passports, national identity cards, and driving licenses. Leaders in a rare show of solidarity said any schemes aimed at dividing Kenyans on religious grounds will hit a snag for they will remain united irrespective of their tribal inclinations. We will not be intimidated, we will not be cowed. If their desire is for Kenya to pull out of Somalia, my friends, all they need to do is what they should have done 20 years ago, which is put their house in order and Kenya will come back to Kenya. They have emboldened our resolve and determination to create a nation that has shared prosperity that we can all be proud of. Terrorist attacks shake and can shake the very foundation of many bigger buildings, shatter steel, bring down concrete multi-story buildings, but they cannot break and will not break the indomitable resilience of the Kenyan spirit. Tusije tukafarakiana kwa minajili ya mambo hatuwezi tukaleta pamoja baadaye. Tuwe kitu kimoja kama taifa moja. And so we meet here today to seek God's help and consolation. And even after these tragedies, we are here to reaffirm our unity to recognize our diversity and to nurture our ideas of love, harmony, and the rule of law. We will not be cowed by any act of terrorism. That's the message every leader who spoke during the national prayers had for Kenyans. And every leader says there's need for every Kenyan to maintain peace wherever he is. Martin Wanjo for Channel One News Hour, KCC, Nairobi.